Welcome back team, I'm Steve from Stag Fitness. Now I know most of you out there are trying to decide what is the best smartwatch for tracking your fitness, whether it's going to the gym, training at home, or simply just for style. So here are my top seven fitness watches that you should consider buying, ranging from 199 all the way up to the 2000 mark. I left timestamps on screen if you do want to skip ahead and stay to the end of the video as I've also included a bonus fitness tracker that you should definitely consider buying. Fitbit Versa 3 is a great entry level fitness tracker for those of you looking to track your steps, calories, sleep, heart rate and stress levels for a great price. It comes with an always on display, a 6 plus day battery life, water resistance up to 50 meters and built in GPS. If you don't like the Versa 3 and you are looking for a more premium build then you can always upgrade to the Fitbit Sense as it comes with a stainless steel body and a few extra sensors. The Versa 3 is now available in 5 colours. You have midnight with a soft gold, all black, pink clay with a soft gold, olive with a soft gold, and thistle with a soft gold. Just released and for the first time using Google OS Wear is the Samsung Galaxy 4. Apart from simply tracking your fitness activities, heart rate and steps, this is the first Samsung watch that measures your body composition. It tracks your fat percentage, skeletal muscle and water in the body. It's available in two styles. One, you have the Galaxy Watch 4. It's a sportier looking of the two with a smooth body and slightly smaller in size with a 40mm and 44mm option. Then secondly, you have the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. It's more in price due to the stainless steel construction and its larger size. It's available in a 42 and 46 mil option. Features wise though, they're exactly the same. It's a great time to pick one up as if you purchase directly from Samsung, there are some great trading offers to be found. Unfortunately, there's no Frontier option like you used to find in the old Galaxy Watch S3. If there was, that's the watch I'd be going for as I like the more rugged design. And just quickly before I move on to the rest of my top 7, if there's a watch that you feel I've missed out that you would recommend, let our community know in the comments below. Now these are a little more fun from Garmin, but I do really like them, they're the Galaxy Legacy series. You get all the great features that Garmin are known for with an exclusive Star Wars or Marvel design. The retail for around 349 and all watch sizes are the same price regardless of size. There are four styles currently available. In the Star Wars lineup, you have the 40mm white ray watch to represent the light. Then in all black with a touch of red and my current favourite with the larger 45mm screen is the Darth Vader one. Then for the Marvel side, you have Captain Marvel with the 40mm screen and Captain America with a 45mm screen. Hopefully Garmin do add more characters to the Legacy series in the future, as personally I'd like to see a Mandalorian or Spider-Man option. Let me know in the comments below if there is a character you feel Garmin should add to their current lineup. Next we have the brand new Apple Watch Series 7. Yes, the battery lasts nowhere near as long as the other smartwatches I mentioned in this list. But for an everyday, easy to use fitness watch with built-in GPS and an always on display, then you really can't go too wrong, as long as you at least have an iPhone. It tracks your activity throughout the day and keeps you motivated by giving you these activity rings that you need to try and complete. The blue one encourages you to stand up and stretch those legs off at least once an hour and your goal is to try and hit 12 hours out of the day. It gets you off your bum if you've been glued to the TV, binge watching your favourite Netflix series, or if you've been stuck to your computer working hard for too long. The green ring then gets you to work out for at least 30 minutes each day, and the red ring is for your general movement. I'd personally go for the Nike edition if I was you, as it comes with exclusive Nike watch faces, sports bands, and built-in Nike app. Plus I feel the Nike band is the best band to train in and getting all sweaty in. It has these multiple breathable holes in it, which helps prevent the band from irritating the skin too much like other sports bands can. Just be careful when you are selecting your Apple Watch, as soon as you go for a stainless steel case, then the prices can jump up all the way up to $1400 if you're not too careful and you won't be getting any extra features for that price. So if you are looking to spend more money for style and features, then these next couple of watches may be for you.
Back with Garmin is the Phoenix 6X. I love the look of the Garmin Phoenix 6 lineup, and this one here is my personal favourite. There are slightly cheaper options available that still come with these excellent features that I'm about to mention. It just depends on what features are most important to you. You may prefer the smaller 42 and 47mm sizes, and you might decide to go with the scratch resistant sapphire glass instead of solar charging. You have to choose between either a scratch resistant screen or solar assisted charging. You can't have both on the same device. The 6X has a huge 51mm case in an exclusive carbon grey DLC coated titanium and it comes with a dynamic pace pro feature which helps you plan your pace across various types of terrain. You also get 2000 ski maps from around the world, the ability to store music, surf ready features, mountain bike metrics, animated workouts, daily workout suggestions, performance metrics and of course a solar charged battery. The battery is already impressive with a battery life of 21 days but if you have the solar assisted charging you then get an extra 3 days use on top of that. The Garmin Phoenix 6 series comes with so many features I won't have time to cover them all now. So as with all the watches I'll link them down below so you can check them out yourself along with the latest prices. The Garmin Mark lineup are Garmin's flagship watches. These premium watches pretty much have all the same features as all of the other Garmin watches I've already mentioned. And then you get even more features that are dedicated to a specific type of sport. So whether you're an athlete working towards your peak performance or you just love the design of these beautiful looking watches, Garmin have you covered. There's a driver, aviator, commander, adventurer, golfer and athlete edition. Then if you want to spend even more money then there's also a performance edition of each watch. For example the athlete performance edition also comes with a matching HRM Pro chest strap. The athlete edition has the most accurate sensors. It can measure your fitness in hot and high altitude training conditions. It has a diamond like carbon finish and always on display VO2 max and recovery time markers on the bezel turn-by-turn -turn navigation and again the list of features just goes on and on. Now for a premium price the Tag Heuer connected line does come with some fitness features but nowhere near as many as Garmin's watches just so you know. So what you're paying for here is great design with the ability to still track your heart rate, calories and steps. Then if you're into your running, swimming and cycling, you will need to down the additional sports app to be able to track your routes, times and results. Design wise, there is a great selection available, but then there should be at this price. At $14.95, you have a choice of a silver, black or blue steel case. And then if you pay slightly more at $16.95, you can have the all matching silver steel bracelet. The price then jumps up to $17.95 for the titanium case with rubber strap, or 1950 for the online exclusive lime green rubber band or you can have the all black option. Now one of my personal favourites though is the exclusive Mario Special Edition. I know it says sold on TAG's website and it retailed for around the 1500 mark when it was out. So if you still want one then you will have to go track down your favourite little plumber elsewhere. These are some of the best smartwatches currently available for tracking your fitness. If you are looking for something a little different, then you definitely want to check out the Whoop 4.0 if you're into your fitness. There's no fancy watch screen giving you on-screen data, and yes, you can't even tell the time. But what the Whoop 4.0 is incredibly good at is analyzing all your key metrics, such as your HRV and your resting heart rate. Whoop then determines a daily recovery score which indicates if now is an optimal time to train or not to get the most out of your performance. If you do want to know more about the Whoop 4.0, click on the link up there as Gemma's done a full breakdown and I've got one on order myself and I will be doing a full review soon. If you do have any questions about any of the watches I mentioned, ask away in the comments below. I'm Steve helping you to get fit at home or on the go. Thanks for watching.